What's going on guys? I am John Ross, aka Watch Go, and today I'm bringing you the graphics card State of the Union. You can see I look a little more fly than usual. Just a quick side note, the vlog will be back very soon. Uh, I've been working on those episodes, but I've also been working on this. And uh, we'll start with the rig update. We have the 5 gigabyte Aeroras 1080Ti's, an MSI Duke 1080Ti, EVGA Superclock 2 1080Ti, and the Asus uh, Turbo 1080Ti. The server power supplies are in. Uh, that video is coming up really soon. Everything's on PCIe risers. And it's been running for a few days. So that's the update on the rig. Now for the graphics card market. You can't buy these anywhere. You just cannot find the 1080Ti. Uh, I did hear one friend walked in the Micro Center and happened upon one two days ago, but that's about the only one I've heard of in the last uh, week or so being purchased. b and is out, Newegg's out, Amazon's probably completely out, but there's so many third-party sellers on Amazon it's hard to tell. Uh, Best Buy is out nationwide. One of my friends checked for 1080Ti's and 1080's this morning and cannot find any of them. And I'm going to tell you why right now. All of the 10 series graphics cards have been out of production for a while. What we've been buying is what's left in the supply chain. All of mine were what's left in the supply chain because they were bought reasonably recently. So uh, they were just stragglers that were left over in warehouses and on shelves and places. Uh, NVIDIA has moved on to their new architecture, the Voltas. You already know it's out because the uh, amazing Tesla V100 is out. One of the fastest cards ever built. The Titan V is also out now. You can buy that on NVIDIA's website some days. It was for sale yesterday, but it's not for sale today. Uh, limit two, three thousand dollars each. Not a very good card for mining, as you'll never hit ROI if you're paying three thousand per card. You need to keep it around that seven hundred and fifty dollar mark that I try to spend on every card. So the high-end GPUs used for AR, AI, and uh, neural learning networks are all out, which means the gaming cards are following quickly behind, and we should see the eleven XX series or the twenty XX series coming soon. We expected those at CES, but Nvidia was busy announcing other things like the VFGD. Their 65-inch uh, 4K G-Sync display, and their automated driving platform for cars. As of today, I think we should see the gaming GPUs on shelves in two to three weeks. Just keep hitting refresh on B&H, Newegg, Amazon, and looking for announcements on all the big tech sites. They're coming soon. Don't worry about this. It's not really a shortage. They're just clearing out what's left, and we'll have GPUs soon. Don't blame the shortage on miners, because everything's out of stock, and everything will be back in balance after the new cards come out. And with that said, I think we've wrapped up the NVIDIA market. Let's move on to the AMD GPUs. The RX 580 sold out everywhere. I know it's really hard to get. They pop back in stock from time to time. Should be paying about $250 for an RX 584 gig, and I think $300 to $350 for an RX 588 gig, depending on the cooler design. The RX 400 series, I'm not going to cover. Uh, you can look into those if you want. It's still an RX GPU, but it's getting pretty old. The RX Vega is where everything's at right now. Newegg had RX Vegas last week for about four days, uh, Vega 64 Frontiers. They were $750 for those four days, and now they've jumped back up to about $850, which means they're either running out or uh, it's a third-party seller that's marked it up. It still says sold by Newegg. I'm a little confused. They usually sell them at reasonable prices. Third-party RX Vega designs are supposed to be out. They were supposed to be out a long time ago, but they're still not here. Uh, Asus has announced theirs forever ago. b and shows that it's coming soon but they still haven't delivered. Uh, most cards say more on the way, or backstock, or discontinued. All of the reference designs are the ones that are saying discontinued, uh, as everyone should have moved on to third-party custom board designs by now. I think the reason for the RX Vega shortage is Apple's supply line. They need the RX Vega 56 for the iMac Pro. iMac Pros are flying out the door with RX 56s in them. Everybody wants them. So I'm sure Apple bought all the GPU stock that was around for quite some time. If you want to mine on those cards, you probably want the Vega 64s anyway. Find a Frontier Edition if you can at this point. Other than that, I don't think there's anything else coming for quite some time, maybe even until the next architecture is announced. The Vega 64 by itself makes 7 to $10 a day, uh, from what I've heard. I'd like to do a rig with those. If I can get my hands on 10 of them, we'll do that. If not, I'm staying on the NVIDIA train and ordering 1100 or 2000 series cards soon. I think that about wraps up the January 2017 State of the GPU market. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, subscribe, whatever you want to do, and I will talk to you guys later.